and welcome back guys so we're going to be playing some more starfield we're going to be doing the quest called first contact and i'm going to try to give you some hints on how to get the hud to pop up so i'm playing on pc and if you're playing on pc press the e button twice i felt really stupid afterwards finding out that i'm sitting here trying to dock with the ship and trying to hail the ship and in the tutorial they don't even tell you to press the damn E button twice. They just tell you, oh, yep, you just press the E button for this, put the F button to scan. They don't tell you to press it twice. I felt so stupid afterwards. Anyways, but I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate it here. So I'm here in my ship, and this is what the normal display looks like. And I'm just gonna turn off the music here for a second. So, Let's say you're like me, and you're trying to dock or hail the ship, and you don't know how, right? So you're going to press the E button twice. So without the E button, press the E button. And then it gives you the option to hail. I felt so stupid afterwards finding this out. I just started pressing random keys. <laughs> And if you do the F button again, it comes up with this lovely thing. It tells you about the ship, tells you all about it. Anyways, let's get into playing some more Starfield. It's just that we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. Yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. Now that we know what's out there... I do not there, believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you now. insist. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down trouble. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios. Climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic and more. 
each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully Careful believed Earth was destined to be around. rendered uninhabitable. We We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. The Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. We got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. So, here we are. Let's talk. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? So they have a name, Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we intend for them to see this our way. So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. Thank you, and God's... Never seen a ship like yours before.
Hey. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Center for reforming criminals or whatever going up in Ixil too. I'm not holding my breath. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. I just feel that we should be focusing on the Hello? natural beauty of I didn't of realize this TV was letting Not people in here. Yeah. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> Ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not gonna work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and... Give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. And which proposal will you be? They'd be hard pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that child as official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benno St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. Right. On behalf of the Paradis... Just doing my part to make sure Paradiso remains a paradise. There are
are you, Dusty? Copy that. Stay on course while we escort you in.
This is Freestar Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. Scan complete. You're clear to land. It goes on and on about how her youngest has been made. It tells everyone you met the Ron Hope. I mean, Ron Pardon. just great. Grand, really. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Where to start? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock minerals. Have you ever had a standard, boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> you get it then. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. It gets even worse. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim your Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? You are the best! This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Complaint. He 
Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own. That sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think I could spare some time. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. So grab drives, didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grav drive that looks like it could be compatible. It's some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. Wait, we still have business to discuss. Someone worth... Ah, right. It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grab drives are. True. I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Perhaps this is that right time. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Maybe we can work something out. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. You're done, right it is. I'll... I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you.
just stay out of trouble. People always appreciate a good engineer, whether they know it or not. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our visitor. I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of... How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover fast... Ah, I knew it. It's, it's incredible. I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. Amazing! I'll have to learn more. Oh! I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief, and, and I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. What grant right? <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right, this will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it!
always nice to know there are other people out there. I won't let my crew down. Well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. Hey there. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers.
Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.